Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you something that I try to look for when I'm burning a piece. I get a lot of people commenting that my black backgrounds are really dark and really black and they say, oh, your pen must be fantastic. Well, yes, I do have a fantastic pen, that's true. I've, I've got an Optima One. It's very nice, though you guys with Colwood's razor tips, um, you should be able to do exactly the same thing. So it's not all about the pen and if you're patient enough, you can do it with the store-bought pens too. But more what I do to get these dark blacks is technique. And, and let me show you what I'm looking at. So right now, I'm looking at this piece. I've done the black shading on this side. You see how it's nice and dark? There's a little splotch right here that needs to be darkened, but I haven't gotten to this side yet. This has all been darkened in. You go over this side where I'm still working, and you can see up here where I started to do the shading, I've gone in and I've filled in all of the spots that weren't really very deep. But if you go down here, I've still got a splotch that needs done here, a splotch that needs done here, and a splotch that needs done here. And if it's a nice kind of, uh, like this, this I'm gonna fix, but this right here, I'm probably going to leave that uneven because it looks pretty good uneven. I'm not worried about getting a uniform black so much as I'm worried about getting a nice dark background that looks intentional. So it's not that you can just have a really good pen and burn really hot and get in there and, you know, it'll be fine. You've got to go back and kind of uh, look at the details and really, really take a close look at what's going on. Um, up, I guess, in the face of your, of your work. So that all needs to be darkened. That's pretty good, but it needs to be fixed. So get on in there and really pay attention to the little details in your work. It's going to make it a lot better.